Private invites in Adobe XD allow you to control who views your prototype or design spec by requiring that they log in with their Adobe ID and password. If a private invite link is shared with someone that doesn't have access to the design, they now have the ability to request access in the latest version of Adobe XD. Let's take this prototype that I'm working on as an example. My design's all done, and I'm ready to get feedback from two of my colleagues, Ike and Katie. To give them access to the prototype, all I need to do is come here to the Share button, and in the dropdown, select Share for Review. From there, I'm going to change access to be only invited people, and I'll go ahead and create the link. Next, I want to come in and add Ike and Katie, so I'll go ahead and add Ike first. Let's say in this example, I forget to add Katie. I'll go ahead and click the Invite button, Inviting Ike, and I can see he's been invited. And then going back to the Share for Review window, I'm going to come in and copy the link to the prototype I just created. What I want to do is send an email to Ike and Katie directly with some other information that I want to share with them. So I'll just paste this URL into that email. By the way, Ike is going to receive a notification in his email box that's generated by the Creative Cloud. He'll also get a notification in the Creative Cloud application. It's just Katie that's going to only get the email that I'm sending here. Okay, I'll go ahead and send that to them. For this next step, I'd like to show you what Katie's experience is like. So let's switch over to that. I'm now logged in as Katie, and I've just gone into Katie's email. And notice here's the latest travel prototype that I just sent her. As I scroll on down, I can see the meeting invitation and then the link to the prototype. If Katie were to click on this link, what she'll see is a notice here that lets her know that she doesn't have access to this particular prototype. She can request access now, and she can also include a note here. So I'll just say, yo. Danny, please give me access. And I'll go ahead and hit the Request Access button. OK, the request has been sent. Katie's going to now wait until I come in and grant that access to her. Let's go ahead and switch back to my experience logged in as myself in the Creative Cloud. OK, we're now back on my own machine, and I'm logged into the Creative Cloud. Notice here in the Creative Cloud application, I can see that I've got a notification. If I click on the notification, I can see that Katie has requested access to my travel design file. And she's given me a message here. If I click the Manage button, I'm automatically redirected to that prototype that I shared with Ike at this point. Notice that I see here, in addition to Ike, who I've already added, that Katie is waiting to gain access as well. I'm going to go ahead and click the Accept button. She's now gotten access. At this point, she'll receive an email confirmation letting her know that the access has been granted, and she'll also get a notification in the Creative Cloud app. It's a pretty subtle but pretty useful enhancement to the Private Invites feature in Adobe XD. I encourage you to give this a try.